Holly Springs is a suburb of Raleigh, the capital of North Carolina. In the last 10 years, the population has doubled and so has traffic. Our friend Destiny was almost hit by a car at the bus stop. The team at Holly Grove Middle School wants to help prevent this from happening again in the Samsung Stall for Tomorrow contest. We created a bus stop safety survey. The results showed that 93% of parents and 98% of students felt that cars passing a stop school bus was their biggest safety concern. In North Carolina, there are approximately 300 rep reports of cars illegally passing school buses at bus stops every day. Nationally, 88% of school bus drivers reported that vehicles had illegally passed their buses at the stop. These are called stop arm violations. We have a lot of safety concerns because a lot of cars pass this stop arm once it's out. Previous attempts to address this issue have focused on public education and law enforcement training. Our team took a different approach. We decided to make motorists aware of exactly where the bus will be stopping by creating a smart school bus stop sign. We conducted focus groups and met with the transportation directors for our school system. They gave us a heat map showing where the most violations occurred. We knew for this project to be successful, we needed support from our local government. We met with our mayor who was extremely supportive. He invited us to present to the town council about our project. They gave us a standing ovation. We also met with Mr. Sandor, an engineer from the NCDOT. We learned that there are very specific requirements for signs. Mr. Sandor offered to help us develop a prototype of the sign from our sketches, but we still needed to create the smart part of the sign. The Samsung phone and created an app to track the bus routes and stops. The phone is also equipped with an XB that sends a wireless signal to an Arduino on the sign controlling solar powered LEDs. When the bus is 400 feet from the bus stop, the lights on the sign will start flashing yellow. At 30 feet, the lights will flash red. We installed our prototype in a neighborhood beside our school for testing. Our school district is developing plans to put up our sign at the locations where the most stop arm violations have occurred. We have a goal to reduce violations by 50% by the end of next year. There's a ton of excitement about our project. Four local news stations have done stories. The Raleigh News and Observer have written up our project and our efforts have been featured in School Bus Fleet Magazine, a national publication. We are exploring how to expand the impact of our Samsung Safe School Bus Stop. We are considering adding audio alerts for visually impaired students. Our goal is to help prevent even one more child's face from being added to this page.